a distressed seven-month-old golden retriever has been rushed into the Bondi Referral Hospital, Sash. Danny is struggling to walk and breathe. He came in here when he was about eight weeks old. He was bitten by a tick and almost died. He was on a ventilator for four days. And we were so worried he wasn't going to make it and we all became so attached to him and I'm just so worried about him being back here so soon. This time, owners David and Rosaline are convinced a plastic object is stuck in Danny's throat. Okay. Oh, sweetheart. He had a feel and he said it's something... It's a long plastic. If Mr Lamb hadn't felt something stuck in Danny's throat, then I would be absolutely certain that he's got a paralysis tick. OK. That's good next, right? Danny's just a baby and it's cruel that he has to go through something like this again. Danny's choking is getting worse. His owners believe he swallowed a plastic object, but Lisa fears he's been bitten by a paralysis tick. I have to take this just to, for their peace of mind because they said they saw something in his mouth. Pretty good. X-rays show Danny has nothing wedged in his larynx. It all looks normal. Oh, right. So, you won't believe what I'm going to tell you, but I think that he's probably got a tick again. Again? <laughs> what a tick does is it paralyzes parts of the body. So they have a toxin that they release into the bloodstream when they latch on, and that causes paralysis and it can affect anything from the back legs to the upper airways to the breathing muscles. Potentially, one bite from a tick on a susceptible dog can cause death. Lisa is searching Danny for potentially fatal paralysis ticks. Danny has deteriorated rapidly since he arrived. I mean, he's becoming more wobbly. He's lost his ability to swallow. Mm -hmm. Look at that, that's so different now. Within minutes, a tick crater is found on Danny's cheek. It's like a crater? Uh, it does. And the fact that it's on his head and he's got these signs yeah. of gagging, it, it would all fit in. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, sweetie. Lisa is now convinced of her diagnosis and immediately gives Danny the anti-serum to try and stop the toxin spreading through his body. Danny boy. So we're going to run the anti-serum in before we even look for more ticks because I don't want him to deteriorate any more than he already has. There we go. The sedation has really kicked in quite nicely. The search now begins for any more lethal paralysis ticks that might be buried in Danny's fur. Have you found anything? There's one. This is a tiny tick. I mean, they can get to four times the size of this easily, but such a small thing can be deadly to a dog. A tick dip is being given as an extra precaution. It's a good bath. Danny will need to be monitored around the clock to make sure there's no life-threatening relapse. I just hope we've got it early enough that he doesn't have to go on a ventilator because that would just be awful. Let's check your gag. Not that great, buddy. Danny has survived the night after his second battle with a paralysis tick, but there are still worrying signs. Still not great. Tick paralysis can affect different dogs in different ways. His main problem was that he couldn't swallow. And if you can't swallow, then that means your food sort of just sits at the back of the throat and there's the risk that you can inhale it and that can cause a big infection in the lungs. Danny has had pneumonia before when, when he had tick paralysis and it took him over six weeks to recover from that, so we just don't want to go there again. 
Until Danny's swallow reflex is back to normal, the hungry puppy will stay on a drip and will not be allowed to eat or drink. Now, are you salivating because you're starving? He says, please, I'm really hungry. Oh, I'm starving. Tick bite victim Danny is finally allowed to eat after fasting for 48 hours. One, one at a time. Wait, wait. No. Oh, you're starving. Lisa is now confident his swallow reflex is back to normal. That's it. You keep that down and you can go home. He is not going to have any more hair. I'll <laughs> shave it every week. No, you're not. <laughs> Rosaline is worried Danny's new haircut has made him look like a different breed. Yeah, short hair Labrador. <laughs> now, I have to put a sign up on his head when we go walking that he's a golden retriever. <laughs> OK, 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 yes, yes, I miss you too. He looks a bit like a Labrador, don't you think? Don't no. ever say that. Don't say that, eh? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're just teasing. You're a golden retriever, aren't you? Danny's just gorgeous. Hopefully he'll be back for a visit for cuddles. No more ticks, and they're under strict instructions to check him every day. Bye. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr Danny Dusek from Bondi Vet. If you love our show and want to see more, plus some amazing content about pets and how to care for them, hit the subscribe button. Click that little notification bell and we'll see you on our next video.